Managing interruptions and distractions in a team setting is a very good way for maintaining productivity and ensuring that projects stay on track. So I'll share with you today some of the strategies to help you handle interruptions and distractions easily. The first one is you need to establish clear communication protocol. Set a given time for meetings and also updates to minimize ad hoc interruptions. So you can also use tools like Slack or Microsoft Team, which, which has uh, status indicators to show when team members are available, busy, or are in do not disturb mode. Make sure that you prioritize tasks. There are tools like Trello, Asana, Jira, which helps you prioritize tasks and deadlines. Team members will only focus on high priority tasks first to avoid unnecessary distractions. So create a conducive work environment. Make sure that your workspace itself is conducive so that you are able to focus. You can also use noise cancellation headphones, quiet zones, or just use designated collaboration areas to focus. Encourage clean and organized workspace, as I already mentioned, and reduce clutter as much as you can. Now, be sure you implement focus time. Allocate specific blocks of time for focused work. Depending on what works for you, you can use Pomodoro technique for time management, maybe work uh, 20 minutes and then take a five minute break and all that. And then next is encourage breaks. As I mentioned, breaks prevent burnout and maintain productivity. Short breaks can help you recharge and also help you come back energized, focused. Now you can use technology wisely, things like maybe you can switch off your WhatsApp during busy times, times when you're focused, and also set boundaries for communication tools to avoid constant notifications. I'm sure by this time you should know that which apps are destructive to you. If it is WhatsApp, make sure that you put your phone away or just switch your Wi-Fi off so that you don't get constant notifications during your work time. Have clear expectations and boundaries because Response times for emails and messages encourage team members to set boundaries when they are available for discussions or not. So lead by example, if you're preaching productivity and yourself are not productive, it is so hard to motivate the other team members. So your behavior will set the tone for the rest of the team members. And if you're someone who is so knowledgeable about productivity, feel free to offer training on time management techniques, equip your, equip your teams with the skills and also the tools to handle distractions effectively. Make sure that you have a support culture. Let your team be open and comfortable to discuss their productivity challenges and allow them to seek support if they need and also reward positive behavior within the team. This will motivate the team and increase and improve productivity. So by implementing these strategies, you are able to create an environment that minimizes interruptions and distractions, allowing your team to work more efficiently and effectively. So thank you so much. If you have anything else to share, be free to write it in the comments. And also if you have any questions, feel free to ask and see you in the next one.